Canada in Ontario to Niagara College to have my study as a culinary management. And I'm so excited to go in there and start my new journey. Okay, that's great, Pa. So, next is, what inspires you to go to Canada and why Canada po yung napili natin? I chose Canada because it is first, multicultural country. And second, I have a family member and friends who go there and they have a very good feedback about Canada, the benefits, and I know that the Canada will gonna help me to give me more knowledge and uh, a good experience for my future and for my career. Okay, thank you, ma'am. And next po is saan po mo po nalaman yung Feel Global? Uh, first is a social media. Secondly, my friend. Mm -mm. One of my friends told me that uh, she wanted to apply in here, so I also try. And for so many agencies that I search, this is the very best uh, agency that I think will suit for me. Well, thank to you do, for to that, do ma. my <laughs> To do my study. Okay, that's great, ma. So, um, um, I will ask you, ma'am, if kailan po kayo nag-start ng application niyo and ka kaano katagal po yung process ng ating visa, uh, ano po? I started, I started like November 2019, I think, but because of the pandemic, na-prolong siya. Mm -mm. But, uh, when we lodged, I think it's three months. Sobrang bilis lang niya. Unlike sa dati kong agency. Okay. So, ngayon, uh, naghihintay na lang ako ng ticket and okay. I'll be flying wow, there. Wow, that's great. So, um, th the next question po natin, ma'am, is how was the experience during the process po with the staff? Kamusta naman po yun, yung challenges also na na-encounter natin during the process? Yeah, everything is well and I'm so happy and glad. Um, I'm glad na I just feel global because everyone in there is so accommodating they are nice even though it is hard for me to comply with some of my uh, requirements yes. they are really nice and they always update me they always uh, ask me if i have a question mm -hmm. and most especially they are really uh focused like if i have concern that they won't end without answering that concern. Yes, so, so that's the main thing that I love with the Feel Global. Yes, yun naman po talaga pa member tayo ni Feel Global. All the way po tayo ni Asis ni Feel Global. And then, um, so lastly na lang po, ano po yung message natin sa family, friends, or sa mga relatives sa tumulong po sa atin? Yeah, thank you to all my family and friends who is there for me during the time that I am processing and for always supporting me through this journey that I want to uh, this to, through my journey na gusto kong i-continue uh, thank you for supporting and for always being there whenever I need someone uh, to to give me advice to give me a support like in financially emotionally everything mm -hmm. thank you because you never leave my side and you are always there especially for praying for me to uh, be approved in the visa mm -hmm. and then yes. of course we never know that not everyone is uh, given a chance to do this kind of a uh, uh, like travel opportunity. uh, opportunities yes. like that mm -hmm. so I am think I am thankful for everyone especially my mom and my sister thank you so much especially to God as well because yes this won't happen without him. Correct. Everything won't happen without him. Yeah. Thank you. That's correct. That's a very nice message, Po. So, as we promised, ma'am, here's your bottle of wine. Thank from you so Phil. much. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. So, that's all na po. And thank you so much for um, sa pagpunta dito. And of course, thank you for choosing Feel Global. And again, congratulations, Thank po, you so much. Thank you for everyone who helped me. Thank you. So yan, good afternoon everyone. So yan, so hello po sa inyong lahat. So pakilala muna ko, I am Mary Jane Raza. I am a marketing executive here in Phil Global. So uh, pakilala ko din po sa inyo yung team namin. So uh, nasa team po namin yun si Miss Dorothy, si Miss Nina, si Miss Donna Bell. So yan, so for our opening prayer, so let me call on with... Uh, Miss Nina to lead the prayer. 
Let's bow our head and feel the presence of the Lord. Dear God, thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. We are truly grateful for them. Thank you for allowing us today to meet and share our knowledge and time with one another in this webinar. May you extend your divine wisdom to our speaker so that she would be able to impart effectively in her God-given knowledge to all of us. May she be blessed as she continues to bring his expertise to people who need them. Amen. So yeah, thank you for the prayer, Miss Nina. So yeah, so before we start, so let's uh, do our company orientation muna to be led with uh, Miss uh, Donabel. Thank you. I'm going to share my screen right now for a moment. Nakikita na po ba yung screen? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. All right, before we start, uh, we have some Zoom house rules. First, kindly mute your microphone during the video presentation. And if you have any questions, you can unmute after the presentation or just type your question in our chat box. And if the presenter is having trouble with their internet connection, please stay patient and wait for them to reconnect. Okay, once again, we are from Field Global Immigration Services Corporation for our tagline, Study, Work, and Live Abroad. With Field Global, you can achieve your dreams overseas through easy and hassle-free processing and consultation. All right, for our Field Global story, um, I'm going to um, not play. You can check out in our YouTube channel. Okay, for... Field Global, Field Global Immigration Services Corporation is an ISO certified 9001-2015 and a world-class company that started out in London way back August 11, 2014 and branched out in the Philippines offering immigration and university placement to the UK, New Zealand, Spain, and Australia, Canada, and USA. And for our legality, legality, with over 15 years of experience in legal, marketing, recruitment, and business consulting combined already. Maybe you're wondering, no, because Field Global Ball just started out last 2014 lang. So with a combined already with our legal, marketing, recruitment, and business consulting. Na po. And also, Field Global is proud of its personal value for money and focus on always putting its customers' interests at heart. And also for our mission to become a world leader in university placements and immigration services. And also for our vision in 2030, Field Global with 1,000 branches will better the lifestyle and move forward sustainable careers of our 100,000 members worldwide. And for our titles, there will be three. First, the compassion. Second is the integrity, and the last one is the excellence. For the compassion, love, devotion, and care to our clients and stakeholders. And also for the integrity, providing our best professional services with honesty and dignity. We do things right, not because we think it is right, but because it is morally correct. And the last one, that will be the excellence, bring forth outstanding practices in management and services with achieving results. And also, we are proud, uh, a while ago, I just say that 
Um, Field Global Immigration Services Corporation is an ISO 9001-2015 certified already. Okay, there is some our seal and also a certificate as well. And at the same time, Field Global has been a uh, choice awards for excellence from Philippine Top Choice Awards for Excellence this 2021. And also qualified din yung um, agency namin, Phil Global, from ISAF agency status. And also accredited in just ANZ or Joint Accreditation System of Australia and New Zealand. And for our legalities, to ensure that Field Global Immigration Services Corporation provides high quality legal immigration service to its clients, we commission services from the most qualified and experienced lawyers and top education providers and universities across the globe. Okay, as you can see for our um, documents, we are registered under Securities and Exchange Commission with our company registration number CS20172178. You can check this company registration number in SEC to check out to check also if Phil Global is a legit company. For our business permit from City of Manila and our city hall official receipt and also our zoning OR. Um, disclaimer lang po, uh, maybe you're wondering bakit yung Phil Global po hindi po siya under ng POEA because we are not an agency for working visa. We are a consultancy visa po. And let's meet our directors, partners, and legal councils. We have Sir Birch, our managing director. All right. He took his master's in public health at Suleiman University Graduate School and his master of science in international Hosp hospitality at Cardiff Metropolitan University. Short background lang po kay Sir Birch. Um, Sir Birch is actually a product of student visa. But sad to say, he got scammed not just once but twice po. So that is why he built this Phil Global para matulungan po yung mga aspiring students natin, aspiring Filipino to want to study abroad also. And we have our Director of Finance and Administration, Sir Joseph V. Basa. And for Attorney Arnel Santrihilio, our Corporate Secretary and Legal Counsel, he is with Phil Global to provide presentation in civil and criminal cases to leading a company and supporting compliance and litigation efforts. And also, let's meet our immigration advisors and lawyers. Okay. Sila po yung aming Mara Advisor sa mga hindi po familiar for our Mara Advisor. If ever po na nagpa-member na kayo sa Phil Global at uh, for example, nandun na po kayo sa um, Canada or sa ibang bansa and at the same time, you're going to process your permanent residency, you can approach one of these. Example, for our Canada, we have Gia Young Jung. All right. And let's meet our amazing team here in Phil Global. Before pandemic po, we do an event like this before. So there are some pictures. Ayan. But as of now po, uh, because of pandemic, we do online like this free, we free webinars po through Zoom. And also our managing director, Sir Joseph and also Sir Birch Ribasa, they do visit in our school partner all right, as you can see, binibisita po nila yung aming mga Field Global members and also they're inquiring po sa, sa aming school partner if may mga promo po ba. And vice versa din po yung mga school partner namin, um, pumupunta din po sila sa headquarters po sa Manila office. And 
yung kagandahan po sa Feel Global, kasi hindi lang po kami yung nagpapas ng lahat-lahat. But at the same time, hinahatid po namin yung aming Feel Global member po kapag aalis na sila. And also, some proof po. And at the same time po, yung kagandahan sa Feel Global, kapag nakapamember naka na po sila, we give free wines and jackets po. You can choose your free jacket at the same time. And also, we do free condo hotel accommodation at sea residences. There are some amenities. Ayan. Malapit lang po siya sa all of Asia. And for our Phil Global branches po, yung Phil Global hindi lang po nasa Manila. We, um, nasa Luzon, Mapaluzon, Visayas, and Mindanao po. Okay, for a moment. Okay, we, for our national sales manager, we have Sir Kalayag. And also, from Manila office, yan lang po yung operational as of now, Miss Jasmine Andrada. And we have regional sales manager, Ma'am Jaya Kalubag. For our assistant regional sales manager, we have Ma'am Jervik. Digital sales and media ma manager, Sir Richard Sales. And for our digital sales team leader, Ma'am Rochelle Abinion. From Baguio, Sir George Magshano. And also from Cebu, si Ma'am Shelo Alemia. And from Dumaguete, Miss Nadine Taplap. From Naga, Stephanie May Pablo. And also from Bacolod, Ma'am Pearl Cervantes. And we have also in Boracay, Sir Felix Berto. And from Batangas, Ma'am Ali. All right, so here are some programs that Feel Global are offering. Student visa, tourist visa, dependent visa, business visa, spousal visa, fiancé visa, general skilled migrant visa, and J-1 internship visa. For our highlights po, um, we do process student visa. Ito po yung pinaka-easiest pathway for you to be in your um, dream country po. And yung pinaka-easiest. If you want to go in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Spain, and US. And for our company affiliation, JVB Travel and Tours, Field Global English Academic Center, Philippine Residences, FG Essentials, Philippines, Wine and Cheese Cafe. And also for recognition, here are some certificates from our school partner po, from 2017 until 2019. And also 2021 as well. And for our field global partners, school partners, you can take a screenshot po if you can see your um school school na gusto nyong puntahan at aralan po. If ever po na wala dito yung school na gusto nila, you can contact your marketing executive as well to confirm. Kasi maraming school partner yung Feel Global, pero hindi na po siya kasha. If ever po na hindi partner namin yung school na gusto nila, um, we can do a partnership as well po here in Feel Global. And for our client testimonials, you can go to YouTube and search Field Global Immigration Services Corporation. You can look some um, testimonial videos, send-off videos, and school partner videos. And most of our clients are asking, how can Field Global help you to reach your dreams? By providing you with this following. First, guidance and assistance during the inter-application process. Access to our lawyers if necessary, unlimited IELTS, review assistance, step-by-step -step embassy application assistance and guidance. 
free counseling on qualification and options of countries to go to, scholarships, discount, and loan options, at least 20 country programs to choose from and different programs per country po. So, ayun nga po, um, there are some lads. So, we will help you to make the choice to be closer to your goals. So, after this presentation, just um, contact your marketing executive to have a consultation on one-on-one -on -one na po yun. And for our membership fee inclusion, if ever po tapos na kayong magpa- Consult, you can proceed to our membership fee point. Here are some freebies as well. So, free two days, one night, and condo hotel accommodation. Yung pinakita ko earlier, dun po yan. And free visa assessment for visa application and immigration consultation. Lifetime membership and company support. Even though po na na-process na namin lahat-lahat at nandun na po kayo if ever sa Canada, um, you can um, contact feel global to assist you if mag apply na po kayo ng PR or permanent residence. And also, free university school placement for student visa, school letter of offer, sponsor, see, uh, sponsorship assistance, free accidents insurance worth 200000 good for one year. Consultation with Phil Global is unlimited po with free info packs, one year validity, and five times free medical consultation. Free psychiatric counseling up to five times. Free financial planning. Free IELTS review and review materials. Free duolingo PT review and review materials. Free nursing CBT review materials. Free HPC UK registration for PT and PNOT. Free occupational test of English review for New Zealand and Australia applicants. Free at travel itinerary. And free bottle of wine from JVB Wine and Cheese Cafe plus free jacket din po to. Free legal advice, free RT-PCR test for international student travel only. Accommodation assistance on the country of your choice. So don't worry na po ba, ba, um, baka mag, uh, magtatanong kayo, um, uh, ma'am, um, paano po yun if tutuloy po ko ng student visa, then paano yung ano, matitirahan namin? So, don't worry po because Phil Global will do assistance po. And also, airport pickup arrival, airport send-off, departure, travel discounts and perks, hotel booking and discounts, investment and remittance advice, national insurance registration assistance, straightforward recommendation. We, here in Phil Global po, we do not sugar coating po. And also, big savings on professional fees. Nursing Council registration assistance in the country of your choice. Account opening assistance in a foreign bank. Criminal Record Bureau or press, uh, pressing assistance. Philippine Money Remittance Advice. Part-time job profile assistance. Um, disclaimer lang po, um, Field Global does not provide the jobs and Field Global does not guarantee that members will pass their job interviews. And also for the benefit of consultation, to know the countries and programs in which you're most qualified po. So one-on-one -on -one na po to. So bali, malalaman mo po how much will be the fee during the consultation po for your um, choice of country. And also what program you're most qualified and here are some breakdowns lang po from other consulting agency. Kasi sa ibang agency po, per consultation is 1,500. So, at the same time, for the info packs po, that costs 500 pesos. So, for example, limang beses ka nagpa-consult sa ibang agency po, that will be 1,500. And also... Sa info pack, that will be 500. So, times 5, that will be 2,500. The total of 10K. But here in Phil Global, we offer unlimited consultation. Good for one year na po yun. Imagine, kahit po, araw-arawin mo, araw -araw mo yung pag-consult sa amin po in different um, schools. And also, free din yung info pack. Good for one year na po yun. So, Contact your marketing executive and to book your consultation. And at the same time, you'll get in touch personally 
with our sales manager and managing director via support group. Mapa Facebooks, Messenger, Skype, or Viber. Ayan. And you'll get freebies. And you can take a screenshot here. Okay? Screenshot na po kayo. And message yung marketing executive nyo to proceed in our one-on-one -on -one consultation. So, what are you waiting for? Join us now today. Book your consultation with Bill Global. So, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Dawn, for your wonderful and informative presentation. So, guys, if you have any question, you can drop your question in our chat box and we will answer that later. So, now it's the time to introduce to all of you our guest speaker for today, Ms. Jabin Benitez from Fleming College. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Hi, Phil Global. Thank you, everyone for attending this webinar. And thank you, Phil Global, for featuring Fleming College as your guest speaker and to feature the college as well. I'm just going to share my screen. Ayan, kita na yung screen. Yes, ma'am. So, ayan, uh, Fleming College recently had our logo uh, rebomb as well as the tagline. So, it was changed to reimagine your future. So Fleming College was founded in 1967 by Sir Sanford Fleming. So the namesake of the college, Fleming. So he invented the universal time. And uh, Fleming College is a government-funded school, and it's a designated learning institution. So therefore, our programs are uh, post-graduation work permit eligible. Uh, we have over 6,500 domestic students. Um, 16, 000, uh, 1,600 international students, which 40% of them are in uh, Filipino international students. So technically, if you pursue to study your, uh, if you pursue to um, have Fleming College as your study destination in Canada, so you'll definitely meet a lot of your fellow Kababayans. So we have four campuses, uh, Sutherland Campus, in Peterborough. So most of the common programs are in the Sutherland campus, also where the most of the international students are as well. Uh, we have Frost campus in Lindsay, and we have Halliburton, and we have Coburg. Uh, Fleming College is located in Peterborough, which is the heart of Ontario. So just to give you a brief overview of Peterborough. So we have, um, 84,000 residents as of 2020, and we have a uh, humid continental climate, so therefore you'll have to expect winter, spring, summer, and fall. Uh, we have various tourist destinations, so we have a lot of museums and parks, and uh, we have a lot of great uh, outdoor activities that you could choose from. Most famous of all is the hydraulic, the, uh, the world's highest um, hydraulic lift lock, where you can watch uh, boats go up and down. They're the one that the arrow points. So uh, Peterborough is a great place to live. So you get the best of both worlds for having a vacation place like home. And it's just a few hours drive away from the main city or the greater Toronto area. Um, so imagine living in Tagaytay and you're just an hour away from BGC or Makati. So accommodations, we have off-campus, on-campus, and homestay. So for the on-campus, it's a first-come, first-served basis. It normally costs around 4000 to 4300 Canadian dollars per semester. So the longer the contract, the cheaper the price because you'll only have to pay for the admin fee or the administrative fee uh, once. 
Um, the best thing about our on-campus accommodation for of Fleming College, uh, we have same-gender housing and mixed-gender housing because we embrace the LGBTQ community. So if you choose the mixed-gender housing, you'll be placed to a maximum of five roommates. You'll have your private bedroom and private washroom, but you'll share a common space. So you'll have, you'll be placed with a roommate with any gender identity. Could it be a male, female, trans, um, non-binary, and other non-disclosed gender? For the off-campus, it's a single bedroom, no sharing. Normally costs around $450. To $650 um, a month. It's usually unfurnished and the utilities are, are extra, so expect that you'll have to pay for the internet and the other utilities, such as bills, uh, such as the water bills and electricity bills. For the homestay, um, there are many available homestays that you can choose from around the Peterborough. Uh, adults who live in the particular home have completed a required criminal reference check to assure the safety of our international students. So what it's like to study in Fleming College. So as soon as you became an international student in Fleming College, so we'll have it, we have an academic support. If you have academic concerns, you need referrals, if you need assistance with your transition, we are here for you. Our international admissions officer are very hands-on with our international students. So we have an academic advising team that offers students um, academic advice or information designed to support your success while you're at Fleming. For health services, we have on-site registered nurse and a part-time physician clinic on campus. And for athletics and recreation, if you like sports, so whether you join one of our varsity or extramural uh, sports teams or participate in our um, intramural programs, uh, you can always get out and play at Fleming College. Career services, this is one of the most important things um, as an international student. We're happy to assist you with developing your career plan um, and assistance needed to conduct a professional job search or even a professional job interview. So we can provide you connections to employment, volunteer opportunities, even after you graduated. So we'll help you find part-time or full-time employment. Next is the transportation, um, Fleming College Student Administrative Council. We host many sustainable and accessible transportation options that includes carpooling, bike share, and local cycling maps of the community. Okay, so as an international student, since most of, since all of our program are PGWP eligible programs, so you can work while you study, so students can work, uh, can have a work permit for the same length of year of their studies. So you can study, uh, you can work while study for a maximum of 20 hours during school terms and 40 hours per week during school breaks. And we have co-op programs. So co-op is similar to the Philippine education system, which is the OJP. However, um, co-op, um, is a paid internship. So as soon as you have your field placement, as soon as you get employed, so you'll be paid by your employer. So next is the OINP. So this is one of the best part in studying in Canada. As an international student in Fleming College, once you graduated and you have your post-graduation work permit, you can apply for OINP for permanent residency. So it's the Ontario's Economic Immigration Program. As soon as you uh, graduated in Fleming College, then you can have your immigration possibilities. Okay, so I'm going to give you a brief overview of our academic groups. So first is the School of Environmental and Natural Resource Science. As you can see here, I'll zoom in there. So Arboriculture, the first program under certificate program. So as you can see here, it's a co-op. So there's an indication there if our program or if Fleming's specific program has a co-op. So that means that this program, Arboriculture, has a paid internship. 
Okay, next is our health and wellness. This is very popular to Filipino international students. So you can experience real life training in the pharmacy technician lab and you'll experience 140 hour field placement. We also have our state of the art spa plus clinic in Fleming College. It's located in Sutherland campus. So our top programs for healthcare, Filipino international students, number one is the occupational therapist assistant and physiotherapist assistant, also known as OTAPTA. Uh, next is the health information management. So if you have a bedside um, experience or if you're graduate of a nursing or if you're a registered nurse, so you could um, apply for the program OTAPTA. But if you don't have, um, or if you prefer a non-bedside um, healthcare program, so you could choose health information management. Personal support worker is offered through fall, winter, and spring intake. So this is very popular as well to uh, Filipino international students. Esthetician, this is the program. This is one of Fleming Unique's programs. So Unique program means that Fleming is the only college that offers this program, but there could be other colleges as well that offers this program. However, it's unique. The curriculum, the curriculum is uniquely designed by Fleming. Okay, next is the community development. So these are a diploma programs. So if you're passionate about helping people live their best lives, uh, these are the, the programs that you can choose from. So you, uh, one of the popular programs for Filipino international students are mental health and addiction worker, as well as development service worker. So it's more of a social work. Okay, next is the law and justice um, academic group. So if you have a professional background in public service, so these are the programs that you can choose from. So it's a real life training. So imagine working or you'll experience a long field placement in courts. So as you can see here, there are plus signs. So that means that the program shares their first com of common first semester. So for example, that you, you initially applied for the paralegal program, you could, uh, after your first semester, so you could seamlessly shift to law clerk program because this program shares a first semester. So that means that the subjects offered in the first semester are similar uh, to the other programs. Okay, next is business programs, very popular as well to Filipino international students. Uh, you can experience quality education in our business programs with industry experts after you graduate. So you can either work in a corporate or you can start your own enterprise. And who knows what skills you could obtain in having a real world learning experience. So as you can see here, program with a plus sign shares a common first semester. So uh, programs with a two plus sign shares a common first year. So for example, that you initially enrolled for the business uh, human resources, uh, you could seamlessly transfer or shift your program to business administration because it offers a common first year. Um, for Filipino international students, um, if you're a graduate of a bachelor's degree, so normally they apply for a project management that's a postgraduate certificate. So for them to have the longest PGWP possible after completing the project management, since it's a certificate program, postgrad certificate program, consisting of two semesters, they will reapply for another program. So it's either international business management or supply chain management. So we call it one plus one. Okay, next is the trades and technology. So these are the programs that you could choose from. So if you, you can refer to these programs if you're looking for new skills to acquire, or if you have a related professional background that you wish to, be, to develop and pursue in Fleming College. So I'll just zoom in. As you notice, we have here our engineering programs, but the education system that we have here in the Philippines is far different than uh, that the Canadian um, education system has. So I highly recommend that if you would like to um, have a program recommendations regarding any 
engineering programs. So it's, I highly suggest that you reach out to one of the marketing executives of Field Global so they can provide you the right program recommendation. Because the, I, as mentioned, the Philippine education system is far different with the Canadians. So it could be that you're a graduate of civil engineering. So we'll try to look uh, for an engineering program that will suit for you in Fleming College. Okay, lastly is the Halliburton School of Art and Design. So we have here diploma programs and postgraduate certificates. So these are the programs that you could choose from if you're interested to or wish to continue a creative profession at Fleming College. So as you can see here, we have museum management and curatorship. It consists of three semesters. It's offered every fall intake. Yes, museum management and curatorship. Yes, we have that because as mentioned, we do have a lot of museums and parks in Peterborough. Okay, there is, so this will be the last side, the six steps to start your journey at Fleming College. That's definitely feel global expertise, so I'll leave that to them. But for the student application requirements of Fleming College, all we need is your passport photocopy. Every document that you're going to submit to us, it has to be professionally scanned. Okay, next is the high school diploma and transcript. Next is a college diploma and transcript. But if you're going to apply for a postgraduate program, we'll only require the college diploma and transcript. But if you're going to apply for a post-secondary program, let's say certificate or diploma. So if you have rendered some years or at least you have gone through your second year, third year in your college. So yes, you can definitely submit your um, college diploma and transcript. Resume is optional, but it will definitely help me, the school representative, to provide you the right recommend, program recommendation. Medium of instruction and IELTS. Since IELTS is waived for Filipino international students, as long as you're a Philippine passport, passport holder, we will only require the medium of instruction. So um, instead of taking the IELTS test, we'll only require the MOI, except for the pharmacy technician. That's the only program that Fleming College require for an IELTS. So we require an, a score of 6.5 with no band less than 6.0. Lastly is the emergency contact. So the name, contact, um, contact number, email address, and the relationship to the emergency contact for us to complete or to add you in our database. And there, so now you can just gather your documents and then submit your, or ask for a program recommendation first with Field Global, then we can submit your uh, application to our international admissions. The turn around time for the LOA to be released is 10 business days. And there, I will return the virtual mic to Phil Global. Phil Global, thank you. Hi, ma'am. Thank you for that, uh, Ms. Javin. So, uh, so, yan, we have questions po. Hello, ma'am. Hello. So, yan, so we have questions po in our chat box. So, uh, first question, ma'am, is do you offer scholarships in Fleming College, ma'am? Yes, we do have scholarships in Fleming College, but we're still working on the scholarships because it will be updated for fall 2022 intake. So, magre release kami ng um, panibagong announcement for the scholarships that will be available for our international students. So far, hindi pa humakapagbigay ng exact figures. Mm -hmm on how much will it be. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, paano ma'am ba yung process nyo ng scholarship? Parang uh, may kailangan ba silang uh, needed ipasa na documents for the scholarship or automatic na once you nag-enroll ka with Fleming College is uh, grant po na agad si scholarship? Uh, yes, recently I have been communicating with the director of Fleming College um, actually, pre-post ko, nagawin namin automatic for Filipino international students, nagawin automatic. As soon as they apply for um, their program, magiging automatic na yung scholarship. Kumbaga, they will have a discount on their tuition fee na. 
Okay, ma'am. That's great to know. So, yan. So, intayin namin yung uh, update ng scholarship nyo, ma'am, by 2022. Yes. So, hopefully, sana uh, malaking uh, tulong sa with our aspiring students na gusto pumasok in Fleming. So, also, uh, hello, does Fleming College provide assistance to international students to, uh, to find a part-time job? Uh, yes, we do. We have an academic advising team. So, tumutulong sila makahanap ng uh, part-time job and even full-time job for students. So, technically, they will not um, provide you the job. They will help you find a job. Wow, that's great to hear, ma'am. So, uh, from Baymax, may age limit po? No, we don't have an age limit. Fleming College believes that uh, education is for everyone. So okay. if you choose Fleming College as your study destination in Canada, I mean, you still have time, plenty of time. Apo. So di ba, ma'am, uh, wala tayong age limit. But how about yung mga uh, papasok natin na nasa age 50s na? So magkakaproblema ba sila after nila matapos yung program? Uh, magkakaproblema ba sila by, uh, sa PR nila? Uh, with the PR, I'm not sure kasi, kasi as a school representative, we only rely dun sa public information na nasa website ni Government of Canada when it comes to age uh, and permanent residency information. Okay. Also, ma'am, meron pa tayong mga questions uh, from yeah. Laureen. Pwede po mag-apply ng student visa kahit undergraduate? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, we accept um, because the uh, education system that we have here in the Philippines is far different from the Canadian education system. So even if you're an, an undergraduate here in the Philippines, so you can, yes, you can definitely apply for a student visa. Okay. So Miss Donna Bell, so do you have question, ma'am? Yes. Um, another question. Do you accept high school graduate old curriculum? Um, yes, uh, yes, we do accept high school graduate with an old curriculum or if, as mentioned earlier, if you at least have rendered um, some years in your tertiary or college, then you can definitely submit your college diploma or transcript if you're an undergraduate. But if okay. you're just a high school graduate uh, with the old curriculum, the MOI will suffice. All right, ma'am. So, uh, may tanong po si Ms. Mylene. Uh, we need to take IELTS, ma'am. IELTS is way for a Filipino international student. So as long as you're a Filipino, uh, Philippine passport holder, we will not require IELTS. And hopefully, um, ma-wave pa siya until, some, until for the coming years. Kasi sobrang laking kulong niya. Mahirap din kasi yung IELTS. Except for the pharmacy technician, pharmacy technician is the only program that Fleming requires an IELTS. We require a 6.5 with no band less than 6.0. But for the rest of the PGWP programs available for international students, um, the IELTS is waived. Oh, okay. Kate Nurse, mom. For practical nursing, kasi it's only available for domestic students. For international students, we have the personal support worker if they would like to apply for a program similar for practical nursing. All right, thank you. Okay, so my question po dito. So, uh, pwede po bang installment ang tuition fee? Uh, for the installment, as far as I know, we don't have like a payment option plan in Fleming College. But because for your initial um, tuition, we only require the 2300 Canadian dollars for the tuition fee deposit for you to secure your slot or your seat in the college. So hindi kami nagre-require ng one-year tuition fee. It's only the first semester. But we don't have the payment option plan like yung mga what we have here in the Philippines, yung mga semestral or monthly plan. Ma'am, so para makaget si student ng letter of acceptance, so ang kailangan muna nilang bayaran is the 2,300 CAD. Tama ba, ma'am? Well, that's the good news. We will issue an LOA even if you don't pay the 2,300 Canadian. Wow. Um, that's the conditional offer letter. 
Then okay. after paying the two three CAD, then we'll give you, we'll issue you the, the unconditional offer letter. Okay, ma'am. So uh, that means na kapag mag-a-apply ka kay Fleming College, uh, wala silang babayaran mo ng mga initial deposit or yung tinatawag nating application fee? Yes, application fee is waived until um until spring, until spring na lang. Tapos um just simply gather your documents, the the initial required documents of Fleming College, then submit it to Phil Global for them to validate validate the documents. Tapos yun, good to go na siya. We'll issue an LOA. Conditional okay. offer letter. Then, dun sa LOA, it's stipulated there until when you can pay for the 2,300 Canadian dollars uh, tuition fee deposit so we can secure your slot. Okay, ma'am. So, before, uh, so, ibig sabihin, before umalis si, uh, si students, parang uh, kailangan nila magbayad talaga ng 2,300 Canadian dollars bago yes. sila ng Pilipinas. Yes. So, yun lang muna, ma'am. So, not the half of the tuition. Um, yung tuition fees, is yung the rest of the tuition fees stipulated din sa LOA yung deadline kung hanggang kaya na siya bayaran. So technically, for you to secure your slot in Fleming College, babayaran mo na yung 2-3 CAD and then may deadline din dun sa LOA until when nila pwedeng bayaran yung the rest of the tuition fee before they could fly to Canada. Ah, okay. So naka-indicate naman po sa lawa, ma'am. Uh, kung magkano yung babayaran nila before sila makalipad papunta ang Canada. So, Correct. not just the 2,300 CAD. Yes. Okay. So, Alright. Ma um, ma'am Jane, meron tayong question dito. Mm -hmm. Saan daw pwedeng mag-apply, ma'am? May interview po ba, ma'am, sa pag-apply ng student visa? Ma'am Jane? So, yan. So, kung saan pwede po mag-apply sa so, so, siyempre, with Phil Global, pwede tayong mag-apply for uh, sa nyo gusto if uh, Kate Fleming College. So, contact your marketing executive. So, Miss Mylene, who's your marketing executive or who invited you with this uh, webinar po? You can unmute po, Ma'am Mylene. Or... Yes, Ma'am. So, yan. Uh, you can unmute na po, Miss Mylene. So, para mas natin yung Si Ma'am Duwag po. Sorry, Ma'am. Sino po? Sino po ulit? Um, Ma'am, duwag. Ano po ba yan? Sandali lang po. <laughs> Sige pa. Uh, Lauren duwag. Si Ma'am Lauren duwag. Okay. Sige, inform nyo lang po, Ma'am, if you going to proceed a uh, one-on-one -on -one consultation. Just contact your marketing executive na, that you're proceeding to the consultation po. So you can start your um, application. Okay. So, ma'am, may question dito uh, from Tata Leo. Uh, how much is the tuition fee each semester? For the tuition fee, it normally it ranges for post-secondary, yung diploma and certificate programs, it normally ranges to um, 7,000 to 8,000 Canadian dollars. But for post-grad programs, it's um, 9,000 Canadian dollars per semester. Ilang semester po yan, ma'am, each year? Uh, for a diploma program, so expect for a four semester. For certificate programs, normally it's one year. Meron din namang mga advanced diploma, which consists of five years. Meron din mga diploma programs na compress sila into three semesters. For singles with post-grad programs, if it's a certificate, it's two semesters. One year diploma programs, it's four semesters, therefore it's two years. All right, okay. thank you po. May mga questions so, yan. So, may, Yes, may mga questions ba tayo? So sa ating po mga attendees, so kung nahihirapan tayo mag-type ng ating mga questions sa ating chat box, so yan po, pwede na tayo mag-unmute ng ating microphone para mas uh, mabilis yung uh, pagsagot at pagtanong. So, yan. So, meron ta po bang may uh, from Jingjing Luna, how about if grad na po still po mag-study pa po? Um, interesting the question. How about if graduate pa 
graduate na po, po. mag-study. I'm not sure what the question means, pero um, kung graduate na tapos gusto mo mag-study, I mean, if you're a graduate of bachelor's degree here in the Philippines, yes, you can definitely still study in Canada, either for a post-secondary program. But we highly suggest that since you're a bachelor's degree uh, graduate here in the Philippines, you might want to try a post-graduate program. Kasi post-graduate programs, it's similar to a master here in the Philippines, pero it's a classroom setup um para siyang masteral pero non thesis at least post grad na yung credentials mo all right so meron pa ba tayong questions how many years po how many years well it will depend on depend on you like for example if you would like to have the longest pgwp possible so let's say um Two years, so that's a diploma program. Sobrang nire-recommend namin to at least study in Canada for two years. So for you to have your longest PGWP possible. Because if you apply for a program, then after mong makagraduate, then you can have the two to three years uh, post-graduation work permit. So let's say you applied for a diploma program. So diba, win-win yun. After graduation, you'll have your maximum of three years work permit. Okay. So parang may isa pa tayong questions, ma'am. So matagal po ba yung process pag nag-apply ka po? With Fleming College, as long as open si intake, uh, for now kasi, we're still filling the seats for spring. Our fall 2022 intake has not opened yet. So as long as kompleto na yung documents mo, you have your MOI, and as soon as the Field Global has validated all your documents, then we can definitely issue your LOA. Basta dumaan sa akin, we can issue that 24 hours within 24 hours. Wow! <laughs> Ayan naman pala, ang bilis lang eh. So we have another question here. Kung makarating na po sa Canada, student visa, makaka-work ba ka agad? Uh, yes, because we you can have your um, uh, you can work while study for twenty hours for a maximum of twenty hours per week during school terms. Kapag summer break or school break, you can work uh, work while study for a maximum of forty hours. Meron tayo mga dito ng question. So until graduate po ako, pero nakapag assess ako sa West. Uh, is secondary certificate lang ako equivalent? Ano po kaya ang course pwede? Uh, we do have a lot of programs in Fleming College that you can choose from. It will depend on you. Kasi we have to assess your uh, educational background and your work background. And of course, syempre, tutulungan kayo ni Phil Global kung ano yung tamang program recommendation sa inyo. Kasi syempre, ia-assess pa kung ano yung... Um, kasi kailangan natin ma-validate sa, ano eh, sa immigration oh. kung ano dapat. Yeah, that's, right. yeah, that's right. So, Sir John, kung sino yung marketing executive nila, um, contactin nyo na lang para makapag-consult. At the same time, para ma-assess na po kung anong qualified to sa inyo, Sir John. Yeah, so we can, uh, we can do free assessment naman po kung ano yung mga qualified courses sa inyo. So, just uh, contact your marketing executive po. So, palo up po, magkano ang sahod per hour? So, magkano daw, ma'am, yung standard na salary in ano po? In Peterborough, Ontario, the minimum wage is $14 per hour. Um, so, imagine, diba, that's around 560 pesos. Pero the best thing about Peterborough is it's the city that has the lowest cost of living within Ontario. So, Imagine that the competitive salary of $14 per hour. So you can definitely, it's livable. Yes. So requirement po ba yung bank statement or uh, proof? Uh, for the bank statement, um, not particular, particularly sure for this one. Because for this question, we normally refer the questions to the agency. So I, I think Phil Global can answer this question. Kasi this yes, ma'am of the out of my scope of support. <laughs> Sige, ma'am. So, pag-graduate na po ako, ma'am, ng uh, BS Ed next year, ano po kaya ang pwedeng applyan na course po, ma'am? Um, yes, for the BS Ed graduates, uh, we recommend yung mga programs under community development. So, you could either um, 
choose the early childhood education if you're if you would prefer yung early childhood education na program or you could choose from maybe ask for Phil Global's marketing executive kung ano yung mga program recommendation under Fleming College um, Community Development Academic Group. All right. So may mga questions ba tayo before tayo mag-ends? So yan. So mas maganda matanong na natin habang nandito pa si Ms. Zavin, di ba? <laughs> Para lahat ng concerns natin about sa school na ni Fleming is masagot niya. So yan. So... Kung nahihirapan mag-type yung iba, so you can unmute your mic naman para dire-diretso tayo. So yan, meron pa bang question? So yan, Sir Steve Estabas, meron, pa, meron ka pa bang question? Uh, none so far, ma'am. I'm late kasi hindi ako nakastart uh -huh. ng Zoom kanina. So hindi ko na-start yung umpisa. So okay. may I'll ask. Thank you. Okay, So, you can ask your marketing executive naman for more details. So, yeah. Opo. So, yan. Meron pa tayong isang question from Tata Leo. Promising po ba matapos ang diploma course, uh, work ba agad or shall another documents to process? Well, you only have to secure your, your ano, um, we call it, uh, they call it the SIN. Yung parang... SSS natin dito. As long as you have your SSS na, yung parang SSS number na meron tayo dito sa Pilipinas. They call it SINE in Canada. Nalimutan ko lang yung acronym. Pero uh, as long as you have that na, you can definitely look for a job. Actually, as a school representative, I have been receiving a lot of WhatsApp messages. Uh, mga employers sila na you're looking for a student, international students na, kung halimbawa, if, they're, if, an inter, if I know someone who's an international student in Fleming College, so gusto niya sana na i-refer ko sa kanya. So, ang dami oh. mga employer na naghahanap din ng mga part-time employees. Well, yes, you can be a part-time employee kasi, kasi you can work while study for a maximum of 20 hours during school terms and then at least exhaust your 40 hours during school breaks. Okay, ma'am. So, ma'am, uh, uh, dyan ba sa, uh, sa may Peterborough, so madali talaga ma'am makahanap ng part-time job kasi uh, most of our clients talaga is tinatanong yung about sa job, sa part-time job kasi baka daw pagdating nila dyan is uh, mahirapan sila na makahanap. Siyempre, ma'am, uh, gusto din naman nila meron pa din silang pang-support, di ba, for their daily living. Mm -hmm. So, madali ba ma'am makahanap ng part-time job? Diyan sa area na yan? Yes, based on my experiences, madaling makahanap ng job sa Peterborough, Ontario. And um, we, um, yung colleagues ko din in Fleming College, most of them are graduate. Nung graduate din sila ng Fleming College. Mga alum, alumni din sila ng Fleming College. So imagine, di ba, nag-aral sila sa Fleming College and they were absorbed or at least employed by Fleming College itself. And there are a lot of companies as well. Yung mga companies na nagre-require ng mga IT and personal support worker is very is a very competitive um, uh, profession sa Peterborough, Ontario. And Quaker Oats, if you're familiar with Quaker Oats and Rolls-Royce, it's located in Peterborough, Ontario. So yung manufacturing company. And as far as I know, they hire at least 100 persons um per month so, malapit yan, na pala ma'am yung gawaan ng Quaker Oats mura <laughs> ata dyan <laughs> <laughs> so yun ma'am so uh, isa pa kasing uh, concern nila di ba ma'am uh, alatad lang kay student visa is 20 hours per week so yung iba kasi is nag uh, tatanong pwede ba kami mag exceed ng 20 hours per week Um, that I'm not sure. To be honest, that I'm not sure. Because um, I'm just we're just um giving um advice to the international students to stick to the rule. Ni government of Canada, if it's only 20 hours, you ina allow. Because na kalagay dun sa website, it's maximum of 20 hours per week during school breaks. And then, siguro, during school, uh, I mean during school terms. So during school breaks, saka na lang siguro nila exhaust yung 40 hours. Okay, ma'am. So, yan. So, to be clear with our uh, future students, 20 hours per week, 
but uh, you can work full time naman kapag mga semester breaks. Tama ba, ma'am? Yes, correct. Okay. So, yan. So, I think wala na tayong questions kasi wala na naman nagpa-pop up dito sa ating chat box. So, yan. So, if uh, nahihiya kayo magtanong uh, dito sa ating webinar, so you can contact naman your marketing executive. So, if you don't have your marketing executive, so, yan, nilagay ko na dito sa chat box. You can choose your own marketing executive po. So, yan, contact nyo na lang. Nakalagay din po dyan yung at aming mga... Uh, Facebook account, uh, email address, contact number. So, yan. So, if wala pa kayong uh, mga marketing executive, so, yan. Pwede naman kayong pumili sa amin. So, yan. And also, uh, kung gusto natin magpa-free assessment, pwede naman namin kayong bigyan ng free assessment. So, bago tayo mag-proceed with our consultation. So, yan. So, I think wala na tayong mga questions sa ating mga attendees. So yan, thank you Miss Javin for this uh, afternoon webinar. So ang dami namin natutunan po sa inyo about Fleming College. So thank you ma'am. Thank you so much po. Yes, thank you Phil Global for featuring Fleming College. Thank you. Thank you ma'am. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.